Hello. With the somewhat new addition of ropes and bars, there's a way to connect two builds together while only taking a total space of 8 studs. If I had to assume this was originally made for things like more compact wheels or just connecting two builds with rope. However, with the match rotation feature, there's a lot of uncovered grounds as far as mechanics go. I myself tinkered around with these things about 3 months after they came out, and found out they can provide a very nice gyroscope effect for any build. There's also another thing that I will mention at the end of the video, but it's less cool. Anyway, here's how you build the tether for the gyro effect. I would 100% recommend having collision for at least half of the ropes, because otherwise it's easy to lose connections to the void. It won't destroy your build, but it will remove the gyro effect and leave you with a dangling block chain. And when you're doing this, it's pretty easy to select exactly half by just box selecting one side of your connections. For some reason, only one part of the rope is selectable by box select. I'll show a couple bits of footage for the next few seconds of the build. And here it is without the tether. And here's a way to make the tether rotatable. You can do this with wheels, but I'd just recommend sticking a plane seat on your vehicle, and the rope can simply be attached by a hinge. You can also make these somewhat toggleable by using glue blocks. Well, that's pretty much it for the gyro, so here's another idea that I had that might spark some ideas in you. It's basically just a stabilized turret arm. By roping this hinge arm to the floor, you can make it fully stable, but still get full mobility on your base. Just to show off the power of these things, I have these two clips showing that they can literally make anything non-rotatable. These things are great, yet there are still some limitations you should be aware of. 1. At least one rope has to be anchored or connected to the ground in some way. 2. With a bunch of lengths slash a bunch of ropes, there's commonly an annoying jitter that makes the stabilization a little wonky. Three. If your rope is too long, it just won't have any stabilization properties. Wait, what? Okay, they fixed that. Nice. Well, that's all that I found out about gyros, so if you have any questions, then you can ask me in the comments. Anyways, I hope this video helped, and I will see you later. Bye-bye. I am way below the void.